Criterium de Dauphiné Stage 3 Team Time Trial. What an absolutely beautiful stage. I love the Team Time Trials. Really beautiful sort of like aesthetics going on with the Team Time Trials, swapping turns off. Everyone's in like good, the same bike, same kit. It just looks really, really nice. Um, so there's some good power data that we can analyze from this. So you can just go through the pictures. Um, we'll go over to the results. So Team Sky 1, not really that surprising to be honest. Um, because they had four national champions, I believe it was. Um, I'm not sure if we're actually going to be getting any results. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we're getting any results from the race, which is a bit weird. Um, oh, maybe this is... Okay, alright. So Team Sky basically beat BNC by 37 seconds and Lord of Sudal by 52 seconds. So Team Sky, no one posted power. BNC, I don't think anyone posted power who finished with them. Lord of Sudal again. Uh, but we have quick step flaws, we have a couple pieces of data, and we got some Velodo and El Yumbo, um, which is a minute and a half down. So it's not it's not the best power data, but it's still pretty interesting, and it's it's pretty relevant. We've also got some for Cannondale um, and FDJ as well. So you can see there's pretty big gaps. I mean, it's like, you basically got 37 seconds, and it's like at least a minute almost to every single other people. And some people finished almost 3 minutes and 20 down for Team Sunweb, which is, a, which is pretty bad, to be honest. Uh, but yeah... So here we go. This is the segment, the team time trial. Seb Kuss, who rides for Lotto NL Yumbo, has the KOM. 361 watts for 38 minutes, uh, which is pretty impressive. Very impressive. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much he weighs, but I don't think he weighs much. Uh, maybe 63, 65, something like that. Anyways, top quality power from him. No doubt about that. So you can see 55 Ks an hour. I think Team Sky won with about 57 Ks an hour, which is absolutely insane. Uh, and this team time trial you can see is pretty rolling, nothing like crazy, um, but watching it last night I could see that you know there was some up and downs, uh, which always makes a team time trial harder because it means if you've just done your turn and then it's an uphill, you've really got to fight to get on the wheel. Uh, so it's definitely a one for the team time trial specialist, there wasn't one where you could just sort of whip it out. So we look at this power gauge and you can already see there's absolute chaos. Um, <laughs> like, it looks absolutely disgusting. Um, so we'll, we'll zoom in. So you can see basically off the start, a little surge, 600 watts, but nothing crazy. And then out, uh, I'll try and show you the map. They've got a couple corners around here where he's just surging out the corners. Um, and then they sort of settle into a rhythm onto, once they get onto this road here. So they sort of settle into a rhythm here, averaging about 54 Ks. Now, Pioneer, um, which is the computer that he has, always has these weird power, like speed spikes. Um, so I'm not going to read too much into them. Uh, but you sort of look along these power datas and you just, I generally like to zoom in quite a lot and just try and figure out when they're going to do a turn on the front. So generally they do between 10 and 40 second turns depending on how strong they are. So normally the power is the same, it's just the strength of the turn. So here he did 500 watts more or less, 490 watts for 18 seconds uh, and that was his turn on the front. And then you'll see after they do their turn on the front, so again here he does the turn on the front here which is a good 500 watt turn again settles off 100 watts and then has that little pi like spike to get of power to get back on just here and then he's back in the line and then he's going to do his turn again. So again you can see here on this particular one he did about 450 watts for 15 seconds. So you can see there he has probably got told to do about 15 seconds on the front and maybe if there were stronger people like Steph Plummer and I'm, I'm some of the other stronger time trialists they maybe do 40 seconds on the front. Um, and that's the thing is that realistically you just want the team to go as fast as possible. Um, so again you can see he comes to the front um, and again, this is only a 10 second turn at 500 watts, so this is, it just sort of does depend. Um, sometimes it might not necessarily be going to the front, uh, sometimes it's just like power spikes in the line, but again, you can see that this power data is pretty horrible to see. Like here he does a turn, then you can see sort of, I don't know what that is, it must be a downhill where he just stops pedaling or something, a corner, and then gets straight back on the front, and then you can see here it's quite obvious that he's just freewheeling back and then has to surge back on to get up to speed again and if you watch them they try and when they're dropping back they try and stay as close to the team time trial um to the main team sorry as possible in order to uh, save as much energy as possible because that really is when you lose that's when you get dropped is when you've done your turn you're completely cooked and you've got to accelerate to get back on so you can see the end is pretty technical um see there's a sharp right hand left hand left hand here they didn't pedal around and another left hander so you can see out of all these corners they're just sort of sprinting to get back on the wheel up here again 800 watt surge um, and they were real hurting 201 beats per minute 202 beats per minute um, so I'm pretty sure that will be very close to his max 400 watts for the last minute and a half after that it's pretty crazy and I feel like with the team time trial is that like for some people it's probably not 
mega hard, but pretty hard. But if you're like a lightweight, small climber, it's absolutely impossible. So we've also James Knox's power data, which I might go into, but it's not the most exciting because he gets dropped pretty early on. But again, you can see here, we'll just compare Alex Howes and Lawson Craddock. So they're both on the same team, both finished at the same time. But you can see Alex Howes' power is about, what, 40, 50 watts less? No, 60 watts less, sorry, I can't do maths. Um, about 50, 57 watts less. So anyway, that is pretty interesting. But what it means is just because Lawson Craddock is a way stronger time trials, he will do lot, a lot longer turns on the front. Uh, so this is still set because it's a power file. But we have here old Alex Howes. So we'll again analyze that and see what's going on. And we also will analyze Lawson Craddock's. So again, very spiky, lots of accelerations, a little bit easier to read this one, but not really. Again, just pretty horrible. <laughs> like, it's not like a nice time trial where you just get completely flat across. It's just uh, horrible. So we'll just go into like midway through just to try and see what sort of turns these old boys are doing. Um, again, Alex Howes here, this could be a turn. It's always hard to tell. He does about 424 watts, maybe a little less. No, nah, maybe like 440 watts for 30 seconds on the front up that little climb. We'll see if there's any other parts where it's obvious he's doing a turn. Um, yeah, this all just looks so spiky. That could be a turn there, but I think it might just be going up a little rise. Uh, it's just really hard to tell. He might even not have done that many turns. Um, like this looks like a bit of a turn here, um, potentially, but he just might be in the line again. So we don't really, I'm not sure he did too many turns. Um, this looks like a definite turn there. Yeah, 460 watts for like 30 seconds. Looks like they're just going slightly uphill. So you can see, with this power data, it's pretty obvious he's not doing like real strong turns. Like you can't see any 40 seconds when he's just absolutely pinning it. Um, you can sort of see mini ones like this, but he keeps it pretty smooth. So if we look at his weighted power as normalized, 324, 342, it's not, it's not like crazy, um, crazy different, which is just because he hasn't been spiking the power that much. But if we compare this to Young Lawson Craddock, and you can see there's some real strong power spikes, which means he's doing some big turns on the front. So well, again, you can see this is a 50 second turn at 470 watts. And that's, that's big, like that's the difference is when you're a time trialist, these are the things that you need to be able to do. The real strong turns, similar intensity as I always say, they're always doing between 450 to 550 watts around that, but it's just the length of time he does it. So he's doing 50 second turns, uh, which is pretty big. Like, I mean, if you've ever done, like it, oh, it doesn't seem that long, but when you're on the front of a thing and you're like, going for 50 seconds it seems quite a lot so again 510 watts for 44 seconds and he's absolutely driving this you can tell like Lawson Craddock really is definitely one of our strongest riders here um he did well in the opening time trial um and has been in the breakaway as well um and again 440 watts for 40 seconds uh, maybe a little less yeah 460 watts for 40 seconds so obviously it's like not it's pretty, it's pretty obvious he's doing some strong turns, but you can see here his heart rate's pretty interesting as well because you can see when he goes to the front because it surges up and then it goes down and it surges up and goes down, but the general pattern is just an upwards trajectory. Um, so you can see here he has a little spike here just when he's doing his turn and then he has a little bit of recovery after that and his heart rate starts to go down. Um, so yeah, if you want to do well in team time trials, you really have to be um, just good at the accelerations. And you'll see that a lot of sprinters are very good at tame time trials because they can do that real strong song, solid turn on the front and then just sprint back on, like maybe not even a maximal sprint for them, maybe like, and it doesn't seem to tire them out as much because they're used to those sprints. Well, if you've got a pure time trial, sometimes they're not as good because they're not as good at the sprinting at the end. So someone like Michal Kwiatkowski, is real like a real good team time trialist because he's got that acceleration and he's got that real strong solid threshold so he can do real solid turns and then sprint back on and it's not too taxing for him well if you compare that to someone else let's say just tony martin i mean tony martin is still an incredible team time trialist but the sprinting on will be a lot more taxing for his body um and then you just look down like michael valgren did 400 watts so he was definitely driving it and you can see so you when you scroll down you see like brian cockard did 313 watts like he's clearly just not doing anywhere near as strong turns as some of the other guys. Um, Thomas de Gent did 406 watts, but he finished He finished well back from actually the Lotto Sudal team. The Lotto Sudal team were well up here. They were only th in third place or whatever. So um, Damian Caruso as well probably swung off early just because he was uh, feeling it a little bit. Uh, Warren Barguy doesn't pose power. But you can see it's definitely like pretty interesting and diverse discipline in cycling because it's not just a, str a flat time trial. It's a, a little bit more, a little bit more nuanced than that, uh, and you really have to have that be strong turns on the front and then real good accelerations to get back on.
So there you go, there's the power data for the Criterium de Dauphiné Stage 3 2018 won by Team Sky. So for Team Sky, I think they'd probably be doing similar turns, just a little bit up, maybe 500 watts turns on the front every single time. I don't know, something like that. But more or less, the power, the power will be very similar um, because the absolute difference isn't crazy between Team Sky and Lotto, Lotto and El Yumbo. So cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next bid.